everybody so I decided to quit working on other projects and uh, get out my uh, new rodent coil that I built um, it's this one here and uh, in case a lot of you don't know I have a coil of wire that looks like this on the inside this is wrapped on a slinky so this wire here is my output for this coil and these other wires here obviously are my input uh, I had this hooked up to a double pulse motor fod man, uh, fan modification as normal and uh, I've got it on this other board where I've got uh, external outputs instead of using the outputs on this board I've got them running transistors which actually only put out uh, like 7 or 8 volts where I'm using 12 volt input because it's not fully turning on the outputs of those uh, transistors so with that said let's get started I'm going to hook this up 12 volt Put this magnet in there, and there it goes. Well, that's bad. All right, right now I'm going to uh, see how max max RPM I can get out of this. Here we go. I hear the wind off of it. Moving along. Still picking up speed. I do not know the RPM. I do not have a tachometer. And my frequency meter doesn't work very well, which I tried. My computer. When this gets up speed, unhook that power. I'm going to try uh, unhooking the power after this gets up to speed. See if I can throw a, a Jack Lolo resonator at you. Probably won't work. Alright, disconnect power. Nope, it's spinning down already. Well, I tried, Jack. Didn't work. I'll get the ABBA out next. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is hook up my uh, output coil to a, uh, well to nothing, just a bridge rectifier and show you what that, what that puts out. Alright guys, I taped the sensor on a new jar here, so I could get this, see if I get it going any faster. It actually works better outside of the hole, because uh, there's more just north power or south power on the outside. In the hole, there's more concentrated both poles in there. Alright, I'm going to let that run. And I'm going to show you, this is my output. It's not connected to anything, it's just connected to a bridge rectifier. And uh, the faster it spins up, it kind of goes through cycles where it goes up and down and up and down. I can show you that. Man, that thing was cooking. Alright. Watch the voltage. Ooh, I just jumped up to a thousand volts. I guess because that magnet was spinning so fast. Yeah, it jumped up to a thousand. 
That's magnetic conk way there. Yeah. Alright. So that is um, with nothing hooked up to the rectifier. Now I've got this uh, 200 microfarad, 250 volt DC cap, and I'm going to hook up to this rectifier. And I can just pulse it, and this thing will be charged up to its maximum value. Here we go. Okay. Alright, what I'm going to do is just tap this power. I've got my capacitor here hooked up, and that's the voltage reading on it. So I'm just going to tap it. There, it jumped up to 75 volts. I'll tap it again. 125. 200. And we're over our limit, so I'm going to short it out. You can see it did charge up and did short out. I'll do it again. I'm going to hold it on until we get up there this time. And I'm above it again already. That was quick. So there you go. That's the output of this coil uh, here that's inside of this torus. Now what I'm going to do is hook it up to my pulse width modulator. So let's do that. Alright. Now I got the uh, coil hooked up to this pulse width modulator. And I've got it hooked up like this. This is the way I did my test previous. Where I've got my rodent coil windings here. And then they go, the one goes through a bridge re rectifier, the high voltage side does, through a bridge rectifier, through this coil, back through another rectifier, and then to my capacitor. And what that does is that produces a big uh, amperage and voltage. You get the same for the same amount of money. So uh, that's it. This file can be found in a previous video. I'll tell you what, I'll stick it in this video too. Alright, so this is my capacitor. I'm going to discharge it. Okay, I'm going to flip this switch on and let it charge right now. You can see it's all the way up to uh, about 200 here now. I'm climbing. I'll shut it off, discharge it. Do it again. You see it jumps to like 150 real quick and then it slows down. Ta da! Can you see how fast it charges? That's a 12 volt input running off this battery. So there you go. Enjoy. I'll be putting some more stuff on later when I get my other tours done. I would like to try the same tests, obviously, with this one when I get it done. I gotta go sit down and do it. See? You.